Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite dessert recipes, cheese flancocho. If you don't know what a flancocho is, flancocho is a combination of flan and bizcocho, which is flan and cake. It's all cooked in the same tin and it's just absolutely wonderful. I know you're going to love it. You have two sets of ingredients. Remember, we're cooking two different desserts in one. This is, these are the ingredients for the flan. For the flan, you're gonna need four eggs, a can of sweetened condensed milk, one can of evaporated milk, four ounces of cream cheese, and it should be at room temperature, and one teaspoon of vanilla, pure vanilla. For the cake portion of the recipe, you're gonna be using your favorite cake mix. Um, it, this is chocolate and only use one and a half cups of the cake mix. We're not gonna use the whole box. You're gonna need two eggs, a fourth of a cup of oil, and half a cup of milk. And just like with any other flan, the first thing you need to do is make a caramel. Here I'm cooking one cup of sugar with about two tablespoons of water until it becomes caramel, until it becomes golden and all the sugar dissolves. The caramel is ready, as you can see it's golden. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter to this caramel. And this, what this is gonna do is that it's gonna give it a flavor almost like butterscotch, which is gonna be delicious with the flancocho. And now this goes into my bundt cake uh, tin right at the bottom, just like any other flan. Now that the caramel is ready in the bun cake, I'm gonna prepare my cake mix. And all you have to do is mix all your cake mix ingredients, the eggs, the oil, the, um, the milk, with the cake uh, mixture. That's it. Now that the cake batter is ready, I'm gonna start making my flan custard and what I'm doing is I'm going to mix all the ingredients in my blender as simple as that here goes the condensed milk and I want to take everything out of this can because this is too yummy and then the evaporated milk This is very simple. There's no science here. Extremely simple to make. Here goes my cream cheese. Let me be very careful here. It's gonna splatter all over. Okay. The vanilla. And I'm adding about a teaspoon of vanilla, more or less. And the eggs. And all I have to do is mix it well. That's it. The next step is to pour your cake mix in your baking dish. Make sure it's even. Remember the caramel is at the bottom. Now here goes the cake mix. I have my caramel in the tin, I have my uh, cake mix in the tin, now goes the flan batter or flan custard. Okay, and it goes right on top of the cake. And this is where the magic happens, okay? Believe it or not, when this bakes, the cake is going to float to what is now the surface and the flan will cook at the bottom. So you're gonna have two layers. This is going to separate in the oven. And now I'm gonna bake it at 350 degrees. As you can see, the, the flancocho is ready. I baked it for uh, about 55 minutes at 350 degrees in the oven. When it came out of the oven, I left it cool down at room temperature for about half an hour and then I'll mold it. And as you can see, I sprinkle it with chocolate sprinkles. This is a delicious, delicious dessert. I know you're gonna love it. Make it as soon as possible. 
Thank you for watching. See you next time.